everyone. It's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video today. And if you're returning, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. Um, and if you're new, thank you for spending some of your time with me too. Um, time is a precious thing and I find as I'm getting older, I, it's just going by so fast. So I do appreciate so much uh, that you choose to spend a little of yours with me. I have the dogs in my lap. Uh, I show Cooper and Whiskey every week. I try to and they happen to be around so I'm going to show them and then move them off so they can do their own thing. Um, they have their little bark collars on. Um, they just buzz them or beep and we have the windows open upstairs and Cooper just I love you too. He just cannot help himself with the windows open and the breeze coming in and the kids playing outside. It just, it just excites him so much. So we had to put on the bark collars because they were getting overexcited today. We don't have to beep them too much when the collars are on because they just know, okay, collars are on, I have to be quiet. And they give me these looks when I go to put on their collars like, oh, fine. So it's kind of funny, but there's Cooper. <laughs> Whiskey looks so annoyed right now. Hi, Whiskey. So here's Whiskey, and I will let them go because they were sleeping in the sun. Um, there's a little patch of sun shining in through the sliding glass door, and they were, they were enjoying the warmth, and I called them over to do my video. Okay, I put a headband on so my hair wouldn't be in my face, and I feel one strand of hair there going right across my eyes. I try, I try every week to keep my hair out of my face and got headbands today. I haven't worn headbands in high, since high school um, and I used to love them. So I finally ordered like a pack of nine of different colors on Amazon and I'm wearing them. Okay, we have a lot to talk about in this video and it's late, it's like, it's 5.30 at night. I had quilt chicks today and so I went there um, and today was a reveal day so they, they're doing challenge quilts. I didn't do that this year because I didn't do any of my challenge quilts last year and um, you kind of you donate like ten dollars you pick I think it's four challenge quilts that you want to get and two bonuses and for every um, quilt that you complete you get you're, you get a dollar back for each challenge you finish. Last year, I put my $10 in, donated every single dollar to the pot. So at the end, they draw a winner who gets, who gets the uh, pot of money. And so this year, I just didn't do it because I knew I had so much going on. I, I'm not going to get anything finished except for what I just decide to work on. So anyway, it was a reveal day. So I got to see all of the amazing quilts that everyone's making and I'm telling you this is such a talented group of quilters I don't even know why they let me in the door because their work is amazing uh, but I just usually bring my stitching <laughs> every time and and I just get so much joy out of out of seeing everyone else's work they're just it's a spectacular group of quilters and I, I'm really glad that I, I found them so anyway we had a lot of fun and Let's see, Thursday I went to my Stitching Chicks, uh, or it's not Stitching Chicks, it's Thursday Stitchers, and had a great time there. I knocked my, I, I mentioned last week, I think that I was having some back and neck problems. I don't know if I really talked a lot about that, but by Sunday, um, it was awful. And so I actually Googled a chiropractor for me, um, I've gotten chiropractic treatment my, my entire life. My dad is one and it's just taken me forever to just decide I needed to find one, but I waited too long and the pain was really bad. Um, stitching was awful. I couldn't even type on the computer cause everything I had to do was looking down and you know, I sit and stitch. So I, I found someone online on Sunday. They had the best reviews in town, a lot of reviews and you can make an online appointment and they actually accepted new patient appointments. They had room on their schedule for Monday. So I was like, click, I need that. Uh, so I, I saw him twice last week and things are getting better, but I only bring that up because it, I didn't, I got a lot accomplished this week 
for not spending a lot of time stitching in the evenings. There were a couple days I just didn't do any of that. And I actually took one day to reorganize, one afternoon to reorganize our kitchen junk drawer, which is huge. It's like a 31 inch by 22 inch deep drawer. I mean, it is the drawer of all junk drawers, but I didn't want to be sitting, even though my back was hurting. I'm like, I, and I can't, I couldn't walk far without limping. So I thought, just stand here, keep yourself standing and do something. And so I reorganized the kitchen junk drawer. That wasn't fun, but everything has a place in that drawer for now. And in probably two weeks, it'll be back to the way it was. So that was my week. So I have stitching to show you and finishes even. Um, I have one FFO to share. Uh, so I got a bit done. I, I really actually overcompensated with stitching the last three days to make up for the first half of the week, not being able to do much stitching and just doing a lot of resting and sleeping. So let's get into it. Sunday, the day I really made things a lot worse was Mother's Day. I hope everyone who celebrated had a lovely holiday. And I started the popsicle cart, I forgot to bring the chart down, on my snow village. Every Sunday, I'm doing the snow village stitch along. If you have any sort of vin village that you're working on, I, I encourage you to join in on the stitch along. I, I make it one day a week, so I know I will work on this. But I sat down at 10.30 in the morning, and I stayed there all day and did nothing. It was a fabulous day, but really aggravated my back because the week before was our anniversary and I took a day to sit and stitch all day too. So it was not the healthiest thing I could have done for myself, but I got a lot done. All of that to say, I got a lot of stitching done on Sunday. So this is the popsicle cart and I'm sorry, I do not have the chart in here, um, but just imagine a snowy bank like this down here and popsicles in here I got a stitch and I know there's a tree and there might even be a snowman or snow snow woman snow person there too but I got a lot done for one day of stitching I uh, I think it's a lot some people can handle and, and like whip out 500 stitches in a day. I'm not that kind of person. I, I don't do well with that. Um, I barely get like 200 stitches done in an evening. So um, this is this is some quite some progress for me. And I'll be working on that this Sunday, the day this video goes up. But I don't know that I will finish it because I, I got to keep moving and, and stuff and stay, you know, keep my back from getting worse. Okay, so the other chart I was working on was the snow love chart. And I think when I last shared this, I just had the snowmen and snow woman, the snow couple stitched and the snow underneath. Did I have more? I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember where I left off on that, but I'm finished with it now. And I thought that was a really cute chart. Maybe I had more done. I don't know. This was the one piece I worked on during this week. So I, I'm i really pleased that I was able to get this done. Like I said, for not doing a lot at the beginning of the week, I did way too much at the end because I really wanted to get these things done. All right, so I had another new start. I started it yesterday. No. Two days ago. Today's Saturday. So I started it Thursday night and it's the June chart right here from Well Hello There series by Hands On Design. This is the last chart I had to get done. Last year in June I decided that's when I got the grand idea to start decorating the buffet area with a monthly theme and that fizzled out for me. Um, the last decoration I did up there was um, February. That was the last big one uh, because I fizzled out on all of that in March. So I still have to do a March, April, May. Did I do a March? No, March, April, May, and June table runner. I 
feel like I did something for March. I did. That was that was St. Patrick's Day. So April, May, and June, I have to finish up a theme and, and do that stuff. But I got plenty of time now <laughs> to get all that stuff done, except for June. I, I'm just going to leave what I have up there right now. Anyway, so Thursday started this, and I got the N done, and that was it. And so last night, I got... Um, the rest of the words done and I started on this this border and I just got the first round uh, one leg done all the way around on this one last night and then today when when I was at quilt checks I finished almost all of the rest of it I got this inner border done and then this outer border um, this completely done and then I only had one leg on this so when I came home was really tired for some reason. Um, uh, all week it's been like this. By afternoon I get really, really drowsy and sleepy and a lot of it has to do with my back because by afternoon I'm in, I'm in quite a bit of pain. So the morning starts out nice, but as I'm moving around it just tweaks everything a bit. So I got home from Quilt Chicks at like 1.30 and by 2 o'clock I told the mister, I, I need to sleep. I slept until 4.15 and I just woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I still have to do my stitchy update video and, and I wanted to get this finished so I could share it with you. So I got up and I thought, oh, he'll be up any minute. No, he zonked out for a whole nother hour. He worked a lot when I was gone today. He did a lot of yard work, cleaning up in the garage, so he wore himself out. So anyway, while he was finishing up our nap, which was like a long, long nap, I finished the stitching here and added the buttons on. And I love it. I don't know if that's focusing. I think I can't see very well, but my camera's having problems. So June is done and I'm going to finish it like I do all the other ones. This little flat mount finish, a little piece of felt on the back. And I put this on a clipboard and the clipboard just holds it and it's, and, and it just stays up upstairs and tells me what month it is in case I forgot, which can happen. Um, because the other day I was talking about, um, when May gets here the other day when May gets here. Yeah. And then the mister's like, um, like we're past May 9th. We're way past May 9th. So obviously I need those now that's starting in my life and that's it for the stitching. So this week, now that I've got those things done, I've got the June hello there done. I have one more small to get done. Last week, I mentioned I would be working an hour every day on the Seize the Day until it's finished, and I wasn't going to complete it for WhipGo. Well, I didn't do that at all because that one requires me to really look down further because I'm stitching it in hand, and it's hard for me to hold that one up. My other stitching is on a floor stand, so I can actually lift the floor stand up so it's much higher, so I'm not leaning forward as much. So I didn't work on Seize the Day at all, and I realized that is just not going to be finished this month for WIPGO. It's just not going to be done, and that's okay. I'll just work on it throughout this year. Um, so I'm going to start that up again this coming week, just a little bit of stitching on Seize the Day every day. And then I had one more small, monthly small to get done, and that's the June chart, um, which is over here from Year of Celebrations. So I will be starting this one tonight on Saturday night and then working on this throughout the week. And at some point, seven days before the end of the month, I think my other whip go piece is after the roses and I need to work on that for seven days. So we'll see, we'll see how far I get. And I have to start soon because in three days, I think, three, four days. Um, so we'll see if I can get this finished uh, and then just work on after the roses and not stress about trying to get a bunch of things done at once. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, so that's it for stitching and stitching plans. Quilting, I mentioned I went to the Thursday Stitchers and I am still working on this Buttermilk Basin um, Summer Block of the Week from Thimble Blossoms. I completely finished 
stitching everything down. Everything has been blanket stitched. And uh, this last week, I really just worked on getting this chain stitching. And as you, as I chain stitch, I, I blanket stitch around the leaves. So I don't go and blanket stitch all the leaves and then do the chain stitch. I kind of do it as I go. So I got all of that done. This little strawberry, I got that blanket stitched. Not well, sorry, bumped the camera. Not well, but it's done. And then blanket stitched around the red part. And let's see, oh, and I started the fern stitch on this flower, flower, <gasps> on this heart. So now all I have left to do on this, and I think I might be able to complete it at the next Thursday Stitchers, is just finish the decorative stitching there. So that's just some fern stitches and French knots and then feather stitches here, here, a little chain stitch right up there and some French knots there and sew this button on. So I should be able to get this done and that's perfect timing because I had big plans to start on the once this block was done, before I order the next three blocks in this quilt, um, which is SEW, I'm only ordering like one row at a time because I cannot uh, afford to buy the whole quilt at once and you can get each block individually. And yes, I keep checking to make sure they still have them and it's not like being discontinued. But before I order the next three blocks, I wanted to start on this year's block of the month. I have the first three blocks, and as a matter of fact, I just got in the mail uh, today, as a matter of fact, the fourth block in Buttermilk Basin's free mystery block of the month, Seeds of Kindness. Now, the, the pattern is free in the month that it's released. So block, this is, what did I say, block five? This is available on their website, just the pattern for free from the second Friday in May until they post the June pattern, the second Friday in June. And after that, you can't get the pattern unless you order the kit. Well, I decided I love these patterns so much, I wanted them. So I, um, I ordered the first three blocks. After the first three were released, I realized, yes, I wanna do that, because I wasn't sure. Sometimes with mystery stuff, you just don't know. So I waited for the first three to be released before I decided, Yes, I really like them, and I've, I've shown them before. I'll just show them real quick if you're new to my channel. Um, block one. I love the blue and the reds. If it has blue and reds, I'm all for it. Uh, and then there's a flower block. And then block three. A real, when I saw this one, I, I said yes. So then I went on auto ship. And so last month I got block four and now I've got block five. Why am I telling you all this? Well, the plan was as soon as I got those three done, I was going to start this so I can keep up for the month. But I'm not gonna do that now because, hang on, I'm making too much noise. I just found out on Buttermilk Basin's Facebook page. Um, uh, I'm in the mail section. I didn't really talk about it, but purchases and mail, we're here now. And, and I'm just segueing from one thing to the next as I tell my lengthy story. Buttermilk Basin. They had, I shared this a while ago, uh, last year their quilt sampler, I got this quilt, and I think I just shared in the last video or the one before I got the quilt kit for it. I didn't realize that they had a floss and button pack and that just arrived two days ago. So I ordered this and I was like, okay, when I'm done catching up with the block of the month and I, and I get the next three blocks of that Thimble Blossoms quilt, I'm gonna start this along with all the other stuff I wanna do. I thought, I, I've got everything, I can start it whenever. But yesterday, yesterday or the day before, Buttermilk Basin um, Nanette, I think that's her name, posted in the Facebook group this as the cover picture. 
and I clicked on the photo like, okay, why are we changing the cover picture to this? Cause I just, I've got all this and I love it. They're starting a quilt along or sew along for this starting June 1st. And now that I have everything, they are going one block a week for 12 weeks to get this done. And since I have everything, I thought, okay, I am going along with that. So I think it starts the first Thursday or thir I think she said, whatever it is, June 2nd, June 1st, whatever it is, it's a Thursday in June. And um, June 1st, starts June 1st. Every Thursday, they're going to share a block to sew. And I thought that's perfect for Thursday stitchers. I can get the block ready, go to Thursday stitchers, and, and sew, I hope. I may be one week behind or something in case they're just releasing like the, um, this is the block we're doing on Thursday and I, I don't have all the applique parts done. I don't know, we'll see. But, so that changed my plans because that would really motivate me to get this done. We won't talk about the fact that Shabby Fabric sent out an email saying they're doing on Wander Lane again and this is the last time that they're going to do that block of the month. And when I saw it probably a month ago, I fell in love with that block of the month. And um, so obviously we're talking about it. Um, but they were, signups were closed. And I saw a stitch in heaven had it, but I was like, mm, I don't know if I really want to do it. And then I got the email from Shabby Fabrics. They're redoing it. So of course I'm like, I, I really love this. I want to sign up. And it corresponds five months of on wander lane is going to be coming as a block of the month the same time i'm getting blocks of the month from merry chris uh merry christmas garden so i will be doing lots of hand sewing um and then i want to keep get on this block of the month and lots of hand sewing thank goodness for that thursday stitcher group or else i wouldn't be getting any of this done okay other purchases uh, i got in my <laughs> Halloween, uh, haunted Halloween kit, quilt kit for the free stitch along and sew along that Fat Quarter Shop is doing. And so they send the background fabric and they've got all the coordinating prints, which are super cute. Ugh, I just threw it all over and unfolded everything. I like to keep things neat. I don't know why, but whatever. These prints are cute. And there's binding and they included backing fabric in the quilt kit. These are the ones I dropped. So really cute prints and I'm excited to do the Halloween quilt along. The stitch along, they invited me to participate. And so they, um, they gave me a gift certificate to buy the things I needed. And because they were out of stock at different times, I had two orders and I placed one order before this quilt kit and it's still out in limbo land, you know, with the post office. The post office decided it, it just needed to go the really long way around. And the second order I placed like a week later, um, that should be here before the first one, I think. <laughs> we'll see. But I'll have that ready to go. And that stitch along is starting Fridays, right? Fridays in June. Maybe that's Thursday too. I think it's Friday. Every fi Friday in June, they're going to release a, a it's a four part stitch along and quilts along. So in June, I'm going to be, I'm going to be very busy. At least I feel like this is going to get me back in the sewing room and getting stuff done and kind of back in the groove. Cause it's been, I've had a really hard time wanting to get back in here and get motivated to sew and do things. Um, the handwork stuff is all I've been in here doing. Oh, and I forgot to show you, I had an FFO. Um, I love these FFOs because they only take me like 20 minutes start to finish. Um, but this was the April one. And so I did just a little ribbon and a little purple fabric and then just tied a bow. I love wired ribbon I've come to discover because I can twist and turn it and do it however I want. Although I have to fix it because I took this to the Thursday Stitchers to show them what a cube finish is. 
because I had talked about it the week before or two weeks before and they're like bring one so we can see what you're talking about and then I undid it so they could see the everything underneath it and when I assembled it back together my ribbons off and I I um I used stainless steel pins to hold everything down and I stuck them in the side instead of on the bottom so I have to redo this one and yes I have the March one I still need to do and I want to do a video for it. Um, I just haven't had the time to do that. So I am going to show me doing a cube finish and hopefully it really will only take 20 minutes. But you know me, there's always something that goes wrong that I have to fix. And so we'll see if that happens again. All right, other purchases. This is it. This is the last things that I got in the mail this week. I mentioned I was I bought a whole all the stuff for a classic Christmas and I got the pattern in finally. The last thing I have for this is I decided to I really like the the plaid fabric she used in the background and that was from I think it's Red Barn Christmas from Sweetwater that released two years ago and I found someone who had a layer cake of it for a, re a reasonable price on Etsy it was like their last one so I've got a layer cake 10 inch quilt squares of the entire fabric line coming and I know that'll be a 10 inch square is perfect for this and then I'll have all the other fabrics Christmas fabrics from that line so I'm excited about that I got this from where did I order that from one two three stitch because um, they were the only ones that had that and these two charts in at the same time I saw Vanna Pfeiffer posted uh, that she finished these recently for a client and I hadn't seen them before and I love these patterns. She did little pillow finishes too. So this is um, Be Bright from Mojo Stitches. I had not heard of this designer before but when I saw Vonna finish it, do the finishing I was like I had to have it. I feel like that commercial. What was that commercial? I had to have it? Whatever. The couches. It was an insurance commercial from a while ago. Anyway, this is Be Merry. So, I really went on a Christmas kick. I may see if in July I've got some time just to like at least get this one done. I don't normally participate in Christmas in July stuff because it just feels weird to me. Other than, I take that back, I do usually make the Fat Quarter Shop free Christmas quilt. But I've not ordered that kit this year. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. And obviously, I've already spent way too much money. So I was like, just hold your horses and wait. Just calm down. And it's not like I don't have a bunch of fabric here that I can pull from to make a Christmas quilt. So I didn't order any of that. The last pattern I got was the um, one, two, three stitch. I'd ordered this last week, but they didn't have it in stock, so they sent it later. So this is Vintage Christmas Alphabet 5 from Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates. I am loving these charts that she's doing. This is definitely going to be the ornament series I stitch next year. Because you, you guys who've been watching me for a little bit know this year I'm trying to do Christmas ornaments. One Christmas ornament every month. And then I've got the um, the monthly ornaments I'm trying to do. Once these monthly ones, themed ones, are done, I, I'm i going to be just focusing on Christmas ornaments. Because I've got all those sleds I want to do. I have a whole bunch of like mini stockings I want to do. There's just so many things to stitch and just not enough time. And then the last thing I got in was this... Um, this was actually from Amazon. I bought an A3 size light board. I mentioned recently in the wool applique video that I did. If you watch this, you saw me talk about I have an A4 size light, but light wafer light board, and you got to move it around when you're putting your blocks on. But I kept seeing Shabby Fabrics has a light board. It's like two hundred and eighty dollars. I just anyway. But it's big, so when you're doing your big blocks, this is like a 12 and a half inches, the lighted area by like 16 and a half, I think, or maybe 12 and a quarter by 16 and a half. And then you don't have to move your block around a lot. And I got this on Amazon. It's one of the, you know, not a really expensive one. I think it was 
$40 at the most maybe, but I didn't know it was gonna come with like this felt envelope and that was really nice. And um, and it had really good reviews, so I'm like, I just went with it. And it there's even a little pocket right here for me to stick the cord in. What? I was very pleased with this. So I wanna say it was 40 and there might've been a coupon with it. And so I'm going to be trying that out. Works. Thank goodness. Um, and and so we'll see how that, that works out. They actually showed these light boards more for if you're diamond painting, the bigger light boards, you know, to help with people who do diamond dots, diamond painting. But I thought that'll be really nice and, uh, for my quilt block. And then I can just keep this one down here in the sewing room and my other light board that I use for lettering that can stay upstairs and I'm not carrying it back and forth. So anyway, last purchase, oh my goodness. Such a long video. All right, and I'm talking really fast because like I said before, it was like 5.30 and uh, now it's 5.55 and the mister's gonna wanna eat soon and all that. So now we're in the giveaway portion and boy howdy do I have a lot of giveaways today. Um, about a week and a half ago, I posted um, the Fat Quarter Shop new products and so I have a bunch of those, I mean, these are all the things we're going to be going through. So, um, I'm going to share the giveaway winners and we're gonna go a little fast through these. Um, if you, uh, I'll just say now, I did not check to see if everybody has left me their address. There is in the description box below, at the very top, there's a Google Drive link, not a Google Drive, a Google Doc link. And uh, if I call your name and you haven't filled that out, you only need to do it one time unless your address changes. But if you fill that out, then for every giveaway from here on out, I'll have your address. So if I call your name, um, you don't have to listen for it in the next video. I can just send you your giveaway winning. So if you haven't filled that out, please do so. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable with that, I understand. Then when I call your name, just send me an email. That's in the description box as well and give me your address that way that would be great okay so first off before i get to the fat quarter shop last week stitchy update if you're new i do a giveaway I tried to do a giveaway in every single video and sometimes we get bonus giveaways when fat quarter shop sends me some products to share and i like to give those away because if you guys watch the video you should be you know thanked for taking time to watch a promotional video and I like to give you guys the stuff and that way you get it in your hands and can see is this is this really good do I really like it or not okay last week's video this was sent to me to give away to one of you guys and this is the little house needleworks month of the year so to the person uh, who donated this uh, thank you so much um, i've had a lot of fun sharing your charts with everyone so i appreciate you passing them on so this one goes to leslie swearingen so congratulations leslie um and that was the only item in the last video because I knew I had so many fat quarter shop ones. Um, I'm going to be doing lots of mailing this week. All right. So we have some cross stitch patterns and some, uh, quilt patterns and lots of English, not English paper piecing pads to give away in this video. Okay. Winners announced. Uh, the Chicken Club, that goes to Arlene Curry. So congratulations, Arlene. And then we have, these are Lori Holt products. We have the Sparkle Star paper, and that goes to Sue Gooden, Quilt Ma Sue Gooden. Congratulations. Uh, the Economy Block, I, I always love these blocks. Um, that goes to Stitch and Darlin. So congratulations to you. The next one was the kite paper, the vintage kite, and that goes to Jennifer, Jennifer Bluebaugh. So congratulations. If I say anybody's names wrong, I'm really sorry. I'm really bad at, you know, figuring out how to pronounce names. Uh, it's not hard for a lot of people. For me, sometimes my brain is just like, no. <laughs> okay, so next we have the sweet laurel cross stitch pattern. And this goes to Enchanting Stitching. 
Congratulations. Next is the April Stackables. And this one goes to Susan Nichols. Congratulations, Susan. And then we're back to It's So Emma. Well, those were It's So Emma products too, but now It's So Emma uh, paper piecing pads. And this pineapple goes to Mary Ron. So congratulations, Mary. And then the log cabin papers goes to Dreamy Buttercup. I like your name, by the way. Um, the courthouse steps, Donnelly Webb. Congratulations. And then these, I told you there were so many of these papers. Snail Trail goes to Kelly Hicks. Congratulations, Kelly. And then the last two patterns. Let's see, the spangled quilt pattern goes to Tammy Pugh. Congratulations, Tammy. I'm excited to get that one off to you. And the very last one. I told you I was gonna go through these quick. Um, the flower quilt goes to Julie Lewis. Congratulations, everyone. And thank you so much for participating in these giveaways. Um, I, I do really appreciate it. And I'm really happy to be able to um, get these all out to you and um, yeah, get them in your hands and let you play with some of these, these um, patterns and products too. I think that's fun. Okay, so this week's video, I have two patterns to give away. Both were also donated from Stitchers. The first one is Ink Circles Half the Fun, and I love this pattern. It's all about traveling. So you can see the hot air balloons, like trolley cars, helicopters, rockets. I mean, there's so many fun things in there, airplanes. Um, I think that's fantastic. So I usually like to do keywords because sometimes people only want to enter for one and not the other. So for this one, let's just do fun. And if you want, you can tell me if you have any fun things planned for the summer. Just remember to write the word fun in there. And the last one is the trucking along pattern for July. And uh, this was donated from a stitcher. Thank you, Mary, for this. And I figured I should get like these summery kind of patterns out now as summer's finally here for us. Anyway, like today was 76 and tomorrow's supposed to be 86. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. But anyway, I feel like it's time to start stitching on summery things. Um, so if you are interested in the July trucking along pattern, we're going to make it hard. July is going to be the keyword. Okay, that's it. Thank you for putting up with my jabbering this week. I jabber every week. Thank you for putting up with that every week. That's just my channel, right? Just da 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 and fast. And today I know was pretty fast. I probably use wrong words. I do that all the time. Uh, sometimes when I'm editing, I like to go back in and make the correction. And sometimes I don't have time. And tonight I'm not going to have time to do a lot of editing. I'm just smooshing this together, putting it out there. So <laughs> I hope I remember in the description box to put everything I talked about. But um, thank you for joining me so much and uh, taking time to, like I said, spend with me and watch the video. Um, I hope you're having a great week. Stitch all the things and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.